It is a brave new world for the Miami Open, a move from Key Biscayne to the spectacular Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Dolphins American football team. It's a big change, a big deal for tennis, I think, you know, moving away from Key Biscayne, which uh, is an iconic place in many ways uh, for me, but also especially for the tour. It's a totally different feel here. The stadium's massive. Um, it's a stadium within a stadium, so I think it's really exciting. It's fresh, it's new. I think it's extraordinary, state of the art. I mean, this uh, brand new football stadium we're, we're playing in. Football's my, my favorite sport, American football, that is. And to be here, uh, this is the site of Super Bowls and a lot of great games and WrestleMania has been here before. So this is a very cool place to uh, play a tennis event in. The move from the historic Crandon Park Tennis Center wasn't taken lightly and the dynamic new stadium court and surrounding grounds has been built with impressive speed. You know, I'm extremely proud because there were a lot of skeptics, a lot of people didn't think this would be able to be done in a year. And to see Stephen Ross's vision come to life and IMG's uh, commitment to keeping this event in Miami, what they've done is really incredible here. I was sitting in my office back in uh, summer of 2016. Steve Ross called me and he said, I I've got the next great big idea. I said, what's that? He said, we're going to move the Miami Open Tennis Tournament to the stadium. And uh, I just said, amazing, let's do it. Talking to some of the players, like they're just blown away and thrilled with, with what it is, and uh, we're, we're, we're proud. It was a great team effort. You know, it's obviously impressive. I mean, playing tennis inside of an American football arena uh, is something very special and something that we've never done before, and uh, you know, it's, it's special to all of us. Hard to believe this was created on a parking lot, and, and most of what you see, which is absolutely meticulous and gorgeous and so welcoming and so inviting, the brilliance and the, and the vision of the Miami Dolphins and their team, uh, we blueprinted it and talked about a lot of investment and we executed. Well, we have a total of 30 courts, um, 18 of them will be practice courts, 12, uh, 12 match courts with the stadium seating about the same number as last year, about 13,800. But we've got bigger capacity on grandstand and court one, about 5,000, 3,000. Because of the massive structure, I think a lot of the wind is going to travel uh, over it. Uh, it reminds me very much of the, actually, of the US Open Stadium, you know, Arthur Ashe over there where wind has gone away and also sun has gone away, so actually you can play in better conditions uh, throughout the event. The stadium court was a big challenge, you know, getting that erected, uh, but really providing a great experience. This is an over $70 million investment to put this, you know, all these courts in and build this whole tennis campus with the fountains and the video board and everything else we have here. It's a luxury experience we have in the stadium court, some of the seating locations and the types of seating and the amenities and the luxury amenities that we have, I think are unique. There's so much to do outside. You could get real quickly comfortable sitting on a couch, having some food, taking in the yard, taking in the music, enjoying the sun, having a few laughs, and oh yeah, I forgot, there's a massive tennis event taking place on Stadium Court. I think you can see it and hear it, right? I mean, we're part of a very vibrant, uh, exciting uh, stadium. I don't think we expected this, but, uh, but it's, it's a nice surprise and it's a bold move. I think it was very courageous. They've done something that wasn't done before and, uh, you know, so they're pioneers in a way.